With holiday shopping in full swing, police are cracking down on a multi-billion dollar problem, organized retail theft. Tonight, we have exclusive reporting on elite teams working undercover to catch suspects in the act. Here's Miguel Almaguer. Tonight at shopping centers across the country, who's out there, who's out there, who's out there? undercover surveillance teams like these <clears throat> say this is the multi-billion dollar problem exploding out of control. We've done probably already six or seven this week. We're stepping up our efforts over the holiday season. Got him. Given rare exclusive access to covert operations, we followed the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department Retail Theft Task Force and the California Highway Patrol. Let them come out, we'll get them. So that's a suspect, Puma bag, it's two Puma bags. As officers swarm suspected shoplifters, Wait, who they say often work with a network of criminals like this in what's known as organized retail crime. We see these really shocking videos that come out from all across the country. Why is this crime so pervasive? I think there's an absolute perception that nothing's going to be done because it's theft. For years now, we've been looking at mobs of Usually it's younger kids, and they believe that if they do it in packs, it's harder to detain and arrest. The thieves, who all too often get away, can swipe tens of thousands of dollars of merchandise, taking their hauls to stash houses like this one. The CHP says this makeshift storefront holds over half a million dollars in stolen goods. As officers raided this home, we watched as bag after bag of merchandise was recovered. We've seen boxes of shoes, uh, stolen goods, the price tags are still on them. There's going to be some critics who say this is a dog and pony show. Not enough arrests are being made. Uh, it's a challenge, uh, and I, I think when the theft occurs, uh, we'd like to think we respond uh, as quickly as we can, and we're investigating all of them. We are doing uh, the best that we can. While not every city is seeing a surge in retail crime, some of the biggest are. With Los Angeles, the nation's epicenter, major metropolitan areas coast to coast are seeing a dangerous spike. And authorities say current laws aren't working. If the value is under $950, it's considered a misdemeanor. If they don't have any outstanding cases or outstanding warrants, they will be cited, more than likely released. In just the last few hours with undercover teams, what's become apparent and quite astonishing is just how rampant shoplifting is. You pick the store, it's getting hit over and over again. The cost of these thefts, which include everyday items, are eventually passed on to consumers who pay higher prices for the same products. But for small shop owners like Mona Zargar, this heist nearly put her out of business. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be in this store anymore. How do you replace something like this overnight? Tonight, the fight against organized retail crime and the rising price we all pay. Miguel Almaguer, NBC News, Los Angeles. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.